Okay, so here we have the base for the Conan Brutal. And so what I want to do is go ahead and show you how uh, this process works. Now, it's not super exciting, so this video is not going to be very long. Uh, but what I've done is I've mixed up my patina mix here. And I'm not sure how well that's going to show up here on camera, uh, but I'm hoping it's going to show up pretty well so you can kind of get an idea of that color. Uh, once again, what I have used are my acrylics here. I've got uh, burnt umber and an ivory or, or Mars black here. And then uh, I mix these two together with future floor wax. And that gives me my kind of an oily black uh, wash. Um, mix a lot of future floor wax in it. And then I also put in uh, some distilled water with a little bit of dishwashing liquid soap. So uh, any brand will work. I prefer the Dawn dishwashing liquid. Um, but what the dish liquid does is it kind of breaks up the surface tension of the water and it helps it uh, almost like a flowing agent. So it helps it flow and just kind of, you know, meander about instead of pooling up. Because that's, that's a really big thing, especially when you're working with these paints. You know, these little surfaces are like little plastic now and so the, the water will actually just bead up on them. And the, uh, the Dawn dishwashing liquid or any really any dish soap does the same. The, the grease fighting action of those things actually breaks down the water tension of uh, the surface tension of the water. So it'll actually kind of lay down on it. So that's important. Uh, so I do put a little bit of that in there. Um, and it's just really kind of a watery, soupy mix. I mean, it's, it's maybe a little thinner than milk. Uh, maybe, uh, but it's not like super, super thin. I have certainly uh, made um, made uh, washes much thinner than this. But anyway, I start out with that black and the um, and the burnt umber. I want more of a a, a, a brown color than I do black. Um, uh, and then I added the sage green to that, and uh, and then just a touch, I mean a really small touch of the uh, hunter green just to beef it up and darken it up a little bit. And so this is what I come up with, this really dark, kind of a muddy brown green goop here. And um, this is going to be the first coat that I lay down, and uh, it's got quite a bit of it here. Uh, but I'm going to lay this coat down, and... Uh, and then once this uh, starts to dry, I might wipe some of it off, especially like right here on the edges. I might wipe some of that off. Uh, but really, it's just a matter of just gooping this in there and getting it all in all the little nooks and crannies. And then probably what I'll do is after this one, come back with just a wash of, of just um, adding more of the um, burnt umber and the black to the same mixture just to darken it up even more. So this one's kind of a middle of the road wash and it works out pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's looking pretty good so far. It's a little a little bit um, it's a little bit on the light side if I if I'm honest with you. Uh, but that's why I say I can come back and use uh, the burnt umber and the black uh, another oily wash over the top of it. So this is really just to kind of see where things are. And uh, kind of the nice thing about this is that this wash, uh, even though it doesn't look that dark right now as it's going on, it will tend to darken up a little bit as it dries. Uh, this color does tend to, I don't know, it just does tend to darken up a little bit. I don't know if it's uh, the color itself shifting or, or what it is, but uh, anyway, it does, it does uh, tend to darken up a little bit. The, um, I can see the, uh, the gloss coat that I put on here is really um, trying to bead these colors up. So you don't get that so much if you don't gloss coat. Uh, but with metallics, you have to gloss coat. Uh, one, so I can protect this base coat. But two, I have to use a gloss coat rather than a matte coat. Otherwise, the metallics, well, they tend to not look so metallic anymore. They <laughs> Actually, they start to look like they're just browns. So that's no good. We can't have that kind of business going on. So uh, I use a high gloss uh, lacquer finish for this. I like to use lacquer, one, because it dries super fast. Uh, it will work on pretty much any paint. It doesn't matter if it's oil-based or acrylic-based. And I'm sure there's probably people out there that will argue with me on that. But here's my basis for that. I've used it. I've been using it for 20 years or more and it works. So you can argue it all you want that, oh, it doesn't work here, it doesn't work there. And I'm sure there's people that'll do that uh, anyway. And everybody has their own way. You know, if it works for you, great, do it. 
I'm not one of these people that is hard and fast. My way is the only way. It's the right way. I just know that my way works for me. So uh, there it is. Uh, and you probably don't want to sit here and watch me paint this whole thing. So this video uh, is going to be ending here very shortly. And we will pick up uh, a little later on here. But as you can start to see here, maybe... Uh, that green is starting to set in here, and I can just kind of keep picking it up and pulling it around a little bit. You can actually make this a little thicker as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be quite so thin. Um, when things are really thin like this, they tend to go out and look out for the uh, crevices. They kind of etch their way into the little crevices. So, you know, um, if if you don't need quite so much of that, and I really don't in this case, I could make this a, a little bit thicker. Um, that's one of the nice things about working with the future floor wax is that, well, if I don't like this, if this is a little too thin, if I leave this little container of, uh, of paint, uh, this little wash sitting out overnight, uh, it'll actually start to thicken up. Now, depending on how much of it I have, it may take, you know, a couple of nights here, but it does start to thicken up that, that, uh, polymer in there I guess starts to, to uh, cure up so uh, so there we go but anyway there it is it's it's uh, it's a work in progress here and uh, and we'll pick back up once we've got this full coat uh, laid down and it's dry all right so let's just take a look at what we have so far now the um, the first coat of the patina here is not completely dry yet. There are some little spots here. There's little pockets uh, every so often uh, that you know are holding a little more of the uh, patina wash. And so it's taking them a little bit longer to dry. That's fine. That's the uh, future floor wax in there. And uh, that's one of the reasons I like using it because it gives me time to work with the product. And, uh, and it doesn't dry up quite so quickly. And, um, and it allows it to kind of pool into all these little crevices and stuff like that. So it's great. And uh, so right now you can see that uh, we've got uh, quite a bit of this greenery going on here. And that's fine. Uh, I always like to check and see if there's any spots that I've missed. I see a couple little spots in here that I missed. I'll go back in and wash those down. Uh, but this is not the final coat. This is just the first coat. So it's going to get another uh, bath in my little green uh, patina wash here. And, um, and then we'll see how things go. So uh, that's it for right now. To, uh, to kind of show you a difference here, check it out. Here is the, um, I'm trying to turn it so the lights don't hit it so much. Here is the Axe, which has no uh, wash on it whatsoever compared to, let's say, the column right there. Uh, side by side. I mean, you see that is a night and day difference there between those two. Uh, so this this is really going to town on it. Uh, I love this patina effect, and then you know, uh, so I think it's going to look really really good. Once again, it's it's a little bit green for me right now. Uh, so I'm going to put another coat of the green on, and then perhaps even after that, a coat of just the uh, burnt umber and some black mixed together just to darken it down even more. All right. So that's it. We'll see you in the next video.